But here I am, Port Braddon. Just across the way here is White Park Bay, which is one of the nicest strands on the north coast. It is a stunning horseshoe shaped bay. It's seen human activity since at least the Neolithic. There's a number of burial cairns and old campsites, etc., have been found there. Comes along the strand, across these rocks here in front of me, through Port Braddon, through a cool ass cave, which I'll show you in a minute, and then follows a load of little coves along the coast, rises over a few cliff parts, down into the little harbour of Dunseverick, out past Dunseverick Castle, and then on along the cliffs to the Giant's Causeway. Just chuffed to find this little bench, somewhere to stop for a moment and let the coat dry. It was lashing earlier. This is the first chance I've had to get the camera out. Hopefully it'll nice day, a bit drier. We'll get some shots as we walk back to the car. Right, let's go explore. This section's amazing. I grew up just down the road in Port Rush, and I've never done this walk. I've tried to get myself as far around Ireland as I can to go and find the most remote, stunning, beautiful, wonderful places. And I've had great success so far, thank you. But this is amazing. And I've journeyed this whole coast in a tiny little speedboat that probably wasn't even seaworthy, but we explored all the wee nooks and crannies you can find along the coast. That was a great day. the trail's really well maintained. There's all these styles and bridges to get you across. There was one section up by the cliff top there. I hadn't seen a strimmer in a long time. I met a chap in shorts. He was not enjoying the nettles and brambles, I have to say. This indicates that this is part of the International Appalachian Trail. The rock structure that makes up the Appalachian Mountains runs throughout the Atlantic, hits Ireland, runs across the north, of Ireland here and across into Scotland. Sweet to think that we're all following these blazes thousands and thousands of miles apart. And of course something cool for anybody who wanted to do the Appalachian Trail but fears the crowds. It's good to know that there's a big empty section of it over here in Ireland.